<laughs> what a beautiful day out. So, as you can see, uh, I've made a few changes since my last video. Uh, I'll give you a little walkthrough here in a moment. But first, you're probably wondering why I'm carrying a rock in my pack this time. I seem to carry large, heavy objects for absolutely no reason. This rock came all the way from the mainland. I live on an island called PEI. And PEI is basically a veritable sandbar, really. So the majority of the rocks on the island that are accessible are sandstone rocks, which aren't really great for cooking on and things like that. So when we went to the trip over to Chignecto for backpacking, there's a long beach walk. So at the end of that video, after you saw my final shot, Kelly found this rock and uh, we picked it up and carried it the last kilometer and a half to the car and then brought it all the way back to PEI from Nova Scotia. And the reason I picked up a big flat rock is that I want to cook a steak on it. I saw a few videos uh, of, of guys doing it. I thought it might be a fun thing to try. So that's what we're going to do today. So yeah, the first order of business is to get a fire going and uh, get this sucker warmed up. So welcome to Bushcraft Base Camp 2.0. This is my summer edition and I'll be modifying it as we go, but I think this will get me through the next few months. As you see there, I've decided to go with the tarp. Uh, worked out okay. I have the raised bed inside there. I'm going to extend that out a couple more logs, so if I choose to spend the night here, it should be, should be fun. You can kind of see what I was trying to do there. I gotta tighten one of those up. It's a little uneven, but and I kept my uh, hanging post. I didn't get rid of that. I wanted to keep that. Worked out really great in the winter time. Wind's blowing quite a bit, so I don't know if this is going to work today or not, but we'll see. Be quick. Now, my main goal right now is not to burn myself, but besides that, is now to try and heat this rock up. Let's do a little water test to see how we're doing. It's boiling off pretty quick. Bet you we can get this sucker started. Let's give it a little flip, see how she's doing. Not bad. Definitely cooking the edges a little faster, but that's because the fire's right beside it. Makes sense. Really starting to sizzle now. So the moment of truth, once again, steak round two. Yeah, it's well done. Probably can't see that, but it's very well done. Still tastes awesome. It's steak, what do you do, right? Yep, it's a little dry, which is fine. Should have brought my hot sauce out. Um, yeah, just got to get it off the flames a little earlier. I had no idea it was cooking through so well. Oh, there's that's juice here. Mm. I have to say, well, there's, there's a little medium rareness there. That's not too bad. I have to say that it's uh, been quite successful. I had no idea how, how it was going to happen. So I didn't know if you have to have like, a particular type of rock or anything like that. But 
That's thumbs up for sure. Mmm. The juices are coming out now, right in the center. It kind of the exterior gets kind of crusted and burnt. Yeah, see how it gets? Uh, it's all charred on the side. It actually trapped all the juice in by the looks of it. It's quite tasty. I know. Hope you liked this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell button as well if you want notifications when videos coming up. And I got a bunch coming uh, over the next few weeks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, enjoy your own adventures. Take care.